Hello everybody, I'm Loaf Machines, and it is finally 2021. Thank God. But, if you were an early 20s kid, you would know that we had it the best. From Spongebob, Teen Titans, Bionicle, and of course the most important, iCarly. Alright, maybe not that, but the one unfortunate thing about 2021 is that Adobe Flash Player is gone. Which means that we won't be able to play any more Flash games. What a bummer. Now as a kid, I was never a huge gamer. I was more into toys if you couldn't tell. Uh, kids were playing the Pokemon games, but I was collecting the Pokemon cards. You know, those pieces of cardboard that are worth thousands of dollars. However, there was one game that I played a lot as a kid. Roblox. And also Flash games. So why don't we go down memory lane and take a look at some of my favorite Flash games. Please don't copyright me, Diamond Bolt. Please, senpai, don't. Alright, now you may have your fancy Smash Bros. But this was my Smash Bros as a kid, Super Fighters. I played this game with my brother for hours because it was fun and because it was free. Listen, as a small Asian boy, I wasn't really the richest person in the world. This was a game where you could punch, kick, throw a grenade, and most importantly, shoot your opponents. Ah, it feels great to be an American. Yeah, sure, all the characters have similar designs, but there was a charm to them. The problem with this game, though, is if you were playing with two people, the controls really weren't the best because you had to fit two hands on one keyboard. But that's a problem with a lot of uh, multiplayer Flash games, so I can't really blame this one specifically. It's more of like a problem with the entire genre. If you had one of three players though, it got pretty chaotic and since I had no friends, I usually played with bots when my brother wasn't around. <laughs> okay, next up we have a website that you all probably know. That's right, Cool Math Games. You know, the, the website that has no math games on it, but it still worked as a great excuse to play Flash games. Ah uh, yes, mother. As you can see, I am using a very educational mathematics simulator that allows me to calculate the velocity of this object while also learning geometry. With that amazing segue, let's talk about the Run series, which is a series of games where you play as an alien who could parkour. It may sound simple, but it was really fun and you can get addicted easily. As I was recording footage for this, I kind of forgot I was recording at all and just started playing the game. I can't tell you how many times I played this game when my teacher would give us like 20 minutes of free time on the computer. This game also made me feel like a cool anime character because as an adult, I can say that I am indeed not an anime character. For Flash games, I say that the best kind of games are the ones that are really simple that you put many hours into without getting bored. It's the same reason why the Papa series is so popular. Now there are many different Papa games from Papa's Hot Derogery, Papa's Bakery, Papa's Burgery, Papa's Scoopery to go and a, a ton more. This is a bunch, okay? I'm going to be talking about Papa's Pizzeria in this one because that was probably the most popular one that most kids played as a kid. You play as a fast food pizza place worker and you, well, make pizza. That's it. It's pretty simple, but the design of the game is just so happy. I think the most fun part of this game was when you did things that you weren't supposed to, like placing the pepperonis on your pizza as a smiley face. Also, I'm not sure how your pizza places work, but I don't remember telling the person making my pizza how many pepperonis to put on my pizza. I usually just say pepperoni pizza and then they just slap a handful of pepperonis on it. The final Flash game that I'm going to be talking about is one that I'm not sure how to explain. It's called Blocks or something like that. It's a puzzle game where you play as a block and your goal is to fall down a hole, but it is harder than it sounds. 
when you move, you rotate, and when you do, you might not be able to fit into certain spaces. Because if you uh, like, are like a block and you're laying like this, but there's nothing here, you you fall off. Sorry for the terrible e explanation, but you really have to play it to understand what I'm talking about. Like it's it's honestly the probably the closest game to a math game on a cool math game. So there's points for that. It has this eerie feeling to it, but it's really fun. And I sometimes get scared when I play because there's it's it's so quiet. You know, taking a look at all those Flash games brought back a lot of fond memories. And while I don't play these games anymore because there is better games out there like Mario Kart or Minecraft, it is still sad to see that Flash games are now a bygone era. Uh, when they were just a huge part of my childhood and probably many others. But even so, I'll remember them what they were. Fun time wasters. Was this? I still play flash games. Even after 2020. Huh. I guess there's still some time before these flash games go away for good. I better make the most of this. Hold on, Mom. I'm calculating the velocity of this object. <laughs> 